Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. I'm Josh. And today we're going to be doing a snow background tutorial. Snow way. Wow, you really... <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't flake out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this uh, one's going to be real unique. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Oh, like a snowflake. Okay, got it. Yeah, we thought this would be great because it's winter. The cold weather is upon us here, at least in mm -hmm. our area. The thing that I did great. first here is I kind of created a palette. And you're wondering maybe how did I make this palette? Basically, I, I grabbed a photo that I took of my backyard with snow in it and then just kind of color sampled from it. This was taken during a kind of like midday sort of overcast day. But I just kind of get it for the mood, and then we're going to just build off of that. But it, snow is one of those fascinating things because it's literally crystals, so it captures the light in this really spectacular way. And it's really hard mm. to invent lighting in a snow setting. So a lot of times I'll just take a nice photo, put it in my stock photography, and then grab colors from that. So if, you can't, if you're having a hard time with snow, what I want to tell you right away is to try to avoid shading with gray because snow is so faceted and holds light in this unique properties and all these other things the Wait. best thing to do is to think about the lighting color in the overall environment so that's not gray no it's it's blue whoa yeah very blue and very purple and pink because that's uh okay. the, the lighting in the that day that was like that so the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and just flood that background in so we have that nice blue color going now Mm -hmm. um, I just like to make something like soft as a gradient. So I'm going to kind of grab this mid-ground color here. And I kind of like to keep things in the background kind of nice and light and smooth. You, you grabbed that color. Yeah, Alt or Option, depending on what you're using, is the eyedropper tool. Or rather, mm -hmm. it is the quick eyedropper tool. So I can kind of, you can see here as I hold it down, I can kind of select from that strip that I have. Now, which of these is titanium white? None. <laughs> <laughs> So what I like to do in my winter settings is kind of keep things kind of like nice and light and very, very subtle. I want to put like a little bit of that pink in there and we can just kind of pretend that the sun's kind of already on the horizon and it's hanging in the, it's low on the atmosphere and it's just kind of giving a little bit of pink to the background here. And what I'm going to show you now is how I built this little mm. scene here on the left. So what snow likes to do a lot is reflect light. So here you can see here, this is direct light. Uh, this is the sun hitting that snow mound directly, and then as the snow pa or as the light passes that, it's going to hit this part of the snow and then bounce light back up at that mound. So here, let's draw that little mound again. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just use a really soft brush. We're going to go in that middle ground color and just kind of make a, a blob, and that's going to be our snow mound. Does the blob have to be any particular shape? Nah, snow is always soft and falls in these smooth ways. And I'm going to just kind of mm. go, go with these little blobs. Now, what I like to do in my settings is kind of pick a place where snow hangs off. So this little gray area that's under here, that, let's, let's pretend that's like a little rock that's underneath. What uh, what brush are you using? Oh, I'll, I'll be all over, but the brush <laughs> that I'm using right now is this one. You can download these brushes in the, uh, in the comment in the link below this video but I'm going to be using this one, which is kind of like an oil, like a loaded oil brush. So it's nice and thick. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just lightly kind of push in a little bit, not too much detail. So right now you're just trying to get the color on there. Yeah. Just kind of brushing it on real, real loosely. <laughs> you're very Bob Ross today. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I try to look out for is to make sure that anywhere where the snow is touching a hard object, that it's nice and gentle on it because snow, like it falls, it, it just, kind of covers and makes everything look real soft. So now we have kind of this little shape going here. Now, like I said earlier, snow is going to hit the edges of stuff and be rather hard as it hits it. So if I go and use like a like an airbrush here, let's just say that the light is falling onto that snow like this. Ooh. Right? Now it passes the snow and hits the ground. So like this area is going to be pretty in light too. But then as it hits the ground, it's going to reflect light back up at that blob. So anywhere where you can imagine, like, just really quickly, I'll draw what I'm envisioning here. If this is the blob of snow, and this is the rock, and this is the ground, the light's going to hit that ground and then cast light back at this part of the blob. And then this part of the blob is going to be in direct light, and this mm. part is going to be in reflected light. So this is going to carry whatever color this might have. And I like to pretend that the lighting, this purple and pink light that we put in the background, that's also going to be present in the ground. 
okay. very, very low amounts of levels. So let's just put a very, very subtle touch of pink in there and maybe just a touch on some of this up here too. So now the cast light that's coming off of here kind of has like a, it's going to take some of that pink back up into the, uh, that blob. Now it looks like it's kind of reflecting. So now, now that I've got the colors laid down, all I'm really doing at this point is just kind of tweaking and making this start, uh, the, uh, the lighting a little more asymmetric so that it looks like maybe there was a bush underneath and it's not mm. as uniform. So it looks like there was some structure, but now it's just all coated with this wonderful snow. And then same with the top. Uh, it's not quite going to be, you know, that fuzzy on the top. So I'm going to kind of kill off a little bit of it. And make it just a little more shaped up in the top there. And of course you can take it a step for take it a step further and like add a little bit of like speckle and uh, mm. you may not be able to see this very well but it's just the tiniest bit of speckling inside speckling that snow with a brush in particular or yeah I have a little speculizer right here okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what that's Speculum. gonna do yeah it's just gonna suggest that there's a little bit of like some of those snow crystals are turned right at us and they're reflecting just a touch of that touch of that back at us mm-hmm yeah. And then from here, it's just kind of like kind of messing and, and fussing with it a little bit just so that it looks like there's just a little bit of detail that might be happening. Like I said, it might maybe there's a bush underneath there. Maybe there's just some objects that the snow has landed on and made. I want shapes. it to be a bush. Okay, it's a bush. <laughs> <laughs> and then same with the ground here. Snow, snow is going to have very gentle uh, shading. So maybe we say here there's like the edge of a lake or something. And then this is just kind of like ice or something that's right here. You're just making it up as you go. I am making it up as I snow. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I put that one on ice. It wasn't so great. Mm, that wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how to do this little tree. So let me just pop a new layer up here. I'm actually going to delete this little diagram too. It's in the way. Good. All right, so <laughs> let's take this darker color here. I'm going to go down to my chalk brush. And I'm going to just make a nice little tree right here. A nice, a beautiful little tree is what you're saying. Yes. Happy it, little tree. It might be perhaps. happy. We don't know. Maybe it likes winter. I know I do. Maybe it's happy because it's winter. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a clipping layer. So I might, I'm just going to either click Alt or Option between the two layers like this. Or you can right click and say, you know, create. Let me. You can right click and then say create, create clipping mask. Either way is fine. Uh, mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this texture that you see over here onto the tree. So what I like to do is I'll grab like a middle ground color here and just kind of lightly touch the tree. And then at the bottom, I'm going to take the snow color and then just kind of bring the snow up onto the tree. So what this is doing is it making it look like maybe the snow kind of fell and then stuck more to the bottom here. But it's also doing the second thing, which is bringing the color down towards the snow. And at the bottom here, of course, snow is going to kind of come up onto the tree and kind of hide where it kind of goes into the snow bank. So I kind of just lightly fade it into that. And then make sure that it has, like, you know, shadows and all that other good right. stuff. Everything's soft, though. And right now so I'm still you... using that texture brush because I like the way that the texture brush adds in some of that amount of like, you know, like I said, it little crystals showing up inside of the snow. Right. So how did you do that? Like kind of plumed effect that you have on that other tree? All, literally all I did was just make the brush real big and then go. <laughs> 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 I, I only did it cause I was messing with the uh, brushes as I was going, but yeah, you can do that and kind of add like a little bit of a haze or noise or like almost like a frosting. Uh, but this is basically it, you know, I, like I said, I, I made this little tree before we started the tutorial just to kind of practice it a little bit. But as you can see here, I can kind of quickly get back into this one and add a little bit more detail. Maybe we'll drop that out of a reference. Um, do, do you know that most trees are like wise? Wise? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why do you think that is? <laughs> just nature is just an inquisitive guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's only winter. It's it's um, what is it? What is it like? Father winter or whatever? Old man winter. That's what it is. The the snow miser. The snow miser. <laughs> hey, the snow miser. Get off my snow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you see here, I'm just quickly 
kind of polishing out a little bit here in the detail. But snow is, is one of those things that's real fun to do. You can have a lot of experimentation with it and uh, just kind of invent little pockets here and there where things are happening. And, and the nice thing about snow is that it's, it kind of hides a lot of detail in the background and there's really no, there's really no one way about it. There's always something di different that you can do with the lighting, something you, different you can do with the shapes. But uh, that's Eric, it. Mm -hmm. I want to jump into snow right now. Do you? Don't. Yeah. I love when oh. snow has not been touched and it looks just all serene. For jumping in. <laughs> right? Sure. The only Come other on. thing I want to show you here is uh, how to make falling snow. Uh, I use a brush, like I said earlier, I use this Speculizer. It's just dots at all different shapes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you did it. Yeah, so you can either make it real big like this and just kind of show, you know, snow falling. Or you can go up and show some motion in it, which is to go up to blur, go to motion blur. Um, this little thing here, the circle, is just showing the direction that you want the blur to occur in. And you can mm. kind of increase the distance to make it look like it's falling in like a windy scenario. So there I just added oh. a little bit of motion to the uh, the drawing there so it looks like it's a little windier. So the motion blur is just sort of adding some angle to it and then blurring it across that angle. Mm -hmm. or That's really all it is. Cool. Yep. So have fun with it, guys. And thank you very much for watching this episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. And we'll see you in the next video. Smell you later. Bye.